developments tonight surrounding a police shooting from January that cost this man, 35-year-old David Novak, his life. Police say they thought Novak was shooting at his neighbor's home and was ignoring police commands. They shot and killed him, but no gun was found, only a baseball bat at the scene. Every month since the shooting, his family has protested outside of the courthouse, waiting to learn if the officer who pulled the trigger would face charges. And today, they got their answer. My brother mattered. Every life who walks these streets matter. You treat us like garbage. Novak's family and friends were in the room as Spokane County Prosecutor Larry Haskell announced the officer who shot Novak will not face charges. Haskell says that's because it was reasonable for that officer to believe he was in danger because he thought Novak was holding a gun. Haskell says the law protects that officer even though he turned out to be wrong about that gun. Our Taylor Graham was there as Novak's family heard the decision. She's live with the emotional update to the story she's been tracking for months. Novak was shot and killed January 7th, and on the 7th of every month since the shooting, his friends and family have marched up and down the sidewalk outside the courthouse, demanding answers, they say, with nothing in return until today. Ever since her son was shot and killed by Spokane police on January 7th, Debbie Novak has searched for clarity. She's protested outside of the Spokane County Courthouse every month since, seeking justice for her son David, waiting to learn if the officer who fired the fatal shot would face charges. I find the Spokane police officer Brandon Rankin was justified in his use of deadly force in this incident. And those words from Spokane County it's Prosecutor so Larry Haskell gave her an answer she couldn't accept. It is my son. It is our loved one. Shame on you. You should not handle things that way. Debbie, David's sister, Crystal, and the rest of their family listened as Haskell explained why Officer Brandon Rankin had the right to shoot their son, even though a baseball bat and no gun was found at the scene. I'm sorry. You need more training if you can't figure out that's a bat. More training. Disgusting. Cold-hearted. Disgusting. On top of their grief and their frustration with the decision, they were made even more upset by the fact they were learning of it alongside the press with no warning ahead of time. Taylor, if Taylor would not have told us about this meeting today, you would not have had us in bed. After months of protesting, the Novaks made one thing clear. Their battle is far from over. We'll see you guys in court. That's all I have to say. See you in court. You guys have no idea what kind of family you're up against. This system is sick. Now that this criminal investigation is done, the Spokane Police Department will continue its internal investigation. The officer who shot and killed Novak is back on duty, and it'll stay that way as police investigate.